So our 10,000 households campaign is going to need additional partners. We're going to leverage our city programs with other financial support to keep families in their homes and to create new homes. That's why I'll also ask the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority and lending institutions to increase their investments in affordable housing. And we'll need the commitment of the federal government as well. As Matthew Desmond points out in his powerful book, Evicted, federal housing vouchers are the best way to provide decent housing to very low income families. And they deserve good housing as well. That's why Washington needs to pay, play its part by recognizing the importance of quality housing to families, neighborhoods, and the entire city. Our own housing authority is continuing the transformation of West Lawn from an outdated public housing development into West Lawn Gardens, a sustainable mixed income neighborhood. Part of this effort included relocating the residents during the construction period. I'm pleased to let you know that seven residents used relocation as their opportunity to purchase their own home. Alicia Mullins is one of those residents. She moved into West Lawn after overcoming drug addiction and interactions with the criminal justice system. She used a Housing Authority scholarship to go to college. She's taken financial literacy classes, saved money, and attended the Housing Authority's home ownership program. Last spring, she earned her associate's degree in human services, and a short time later, purchased her very first home. 